guys, it's May May, and today I'm going to do a little product share with you guys. I've had about three different people, let me think, three people so far have sent me some products. Some of them you'll be familiar with, and then a couple of them, um, it's just something I want to share with you that's been sent to me and tell you a little bit about them, and um, yeah, just show you some, some products that I think are really cool. So anyway, I've got three different things I want to show you today, so let's get started. The first thing is this guy. This is a burlap sack they we used to call these um croaker sacks do you remember croaker sacks look isn't that awesome and it's big it's too big for me to open it all out on camera right here but let's do some measurements it's at least um 18 about 24 inches wide and it's probably about hmm about 31 32 inches long and it's a big bag. Now you probably imagine these when kids used to do the three-legged races or when they were doing the the um, sack hop races. That's what these remind me of. But it's burlap and it's one dollar for these bags. Now this was sent to me by, by Miss D. Snow and she sent it to me as a challenge and she wants me to create something out of it and show her what I will do. Now I have in my head what I want to do but I've been struggling with actually finishing it. Like I've been struggling with figuring out how to finish it, but I think it's coming to me. I've been working on that. And she sent this a while ago and I love it. And since she sent it to me, I was at, or I should say in the days following when she sent it to me, I went to our local feed and seed store and they have them for a dollar. Now they don't have the same cool green and the writing on them, but they're still there and they're one buck. And that's a lot of burlap for a dollar. So if you need some burlap for a project, maybe for spring decorating or Easter, go check out your feed and seed store and find these bags. They are worth it. It's a lot of fabric. The next things that I received are from a friend of mine who actually used to be on my design team. And she is Andy Berry Cards. I'm going to open this up. Look how cute they come packaged. A little washi tape. And I'm going to lay that there for a second. These are actually ponytail holders. Or, do you remember the book I made? Which I gave mine away. <laughs> the one that had the rubber band. Um, the hair pony, you know. And this came back over it for the mini album. And it locked it in place like that. That's what we're going to try with this. She sent me these to see if I could use them for mini albums. But look. She made one that says May May made it. How cute. Isn't that cute? Okay, this one is flowers. This one's happy birthday. So that's what these are. And look, here's another set. Look how precious. These are flip-flops for summertime. So cute. This is a watermelon <laughs> with a cute little face. And this one is happy birthday, and it's got like the um, oriental look to it. I think that's pretty cool. Okay, so I have those ponytail holders that we're going to work with. Now, these are called Flair. Some of you may be familiar with Flair. I was not. I have heard of Flair from, I think it's the movie um, Office Space. I think it's from that where they talk about the Flair that they wear. But anyway, these don't have anything on the back. She sticks them down with a glue dot. And I actually had already peeled this one off. So she sticks them down with a glue dot. And look, they're smooth on the back. So you have opportunity to do anything you want with them. But I think they'd be super cute on cards. Or you could use them on scrapbook layouts. Wouldn't that be cute? You could use them um, in any of your 3D projects. They're awesome for shadow boxes or what have you. Super cute. And look, another May May made it one. Isn't that cute? Now, she told me she could put anything on them. So as far as I know, Andy, correct me in the comments below if I'm wrong. But I think she can personalize these for you guys. And this is her card. I'll put her information. That's kind of hard to read. But look below. You'll find her information. And these are the things she sent me to try out. Love them. Love them, love them. And we are going to try these out. <laughs> I promise. I have plans for them. Now then, you guys know that I've been doing acrylic disc playing lately, and I'm loving it. Well, the owners of the company, punchplaceplus.com, asked me if they could send me some products that I could try out and show you guys. Now, when she said that, I thought, okay, she'll send me a couple products, whatever. No. Guys, she hooked me up. I've got so many things to show you guys with these, and I'm so excited. But I'm going to start by showing you um, what she sent me, and then we'll have projects coming later. So the first thing we'll talk about are these headbands. These are 7 8 inch headbands. They are plastic. I hope they're plastic. That's what I'm going to call them. They might be some other... I don't know. Anyway, and they have some give to them. Now, these are super cool. Now, from what I understand she does with these is she covers these with fabric. And because of that, she sent me this entire roll of adhesive to use 
Look at this. I do not know the brand of this, and I don't know if she sells it. I'll check and see if she has this on her store. If she does, I'll have the link below. That's a big old thing of adhesive, and it's double-sided. It's much, It feels a lot like score tape to me, so she sent me that to play with these. She sent me, these are beige. Can you see that? And then these are kind of a tan, and they're wider. These are, these must be an inch. Let me measure them. These are an inch and a quarter wide. Look at all that space to use to make a cool headband. And I've got some fun, fun, fun ideas for these. So stick around because um, for spring, headbands are going to be so cute. So there's those. Now, I have nieces, and I think this is super cute. These headbands are for your 18-inch dolls, like your, I think they're American Girl dolls. And I think even Madame Alexander dolls have some 18-inch dolls. I don't know. I don't buy a lot of dolls. Look at these. So you could do like a mommy and me headband so the you can make the grown-up size for your daughter and then this size for your little girl and it'll be so cute for her little doll. So cute. So these are 7 8 Let me make sure. Yes, these feel like the 7 8 inch. And then these are the wider ones like I showed you that are, let me see, an inch and a quarter also so you could literally do matching headbands for your little girl and her doll how cute is that so these again are from punch place plus also from her are these look now i've been playing with her acrylic disc and making all kinds of stuff but check these out it is the perfect little megaphone but can you see the glitter and guys the glitter is embedded there's no this is a smooth surface so you can stamp on this and trust me we're going to be we're i've got a good idea for these so this is the glitter megaphone she sent me so cute look at these these are houses now listen i think the cutest little idea for these would be if you were doing a housewarming gift and you made a keychain out of this maybe you put their monogram on their new house or you put congratulations or something wouldn't that be precious and look they already have the hole drilled for them to be a keychain super cute huh so there's houses i have ideas for those too now let's look at these together she asked me what i would like if i got some more acrylic disc and i said i'd really like the pale colors or the lighter colors because i'm enjoying stamping and i really want to try some colored ink so look at this one i'm not sure the color of this it's number four no it's four number so maybe that'll help you with the color but this is kind of a kind of a melon color it's not coral but it's not red so it's kind of a melon this one is number three and it's pink isn't that cute okay look at this one this one is hot pink this one's number 13 by the way these are the one inch let me show you they're a little more than an inch no these are an inch and a quarter so these are the inch and a quarter size look at that hot pink oh it's not picking up on camera because those look the same but they're totally not this one is hot pink totally hot pink almost neon pink this one is the number three again she sent me two of those and this one is a pale blue number eight it's the same as these, but the different colors. I'm excited to play with those. She sent me two packs of these. I want to show you how these come. These are Florida Lees, and they're clear. So you, oh, this one's a thick one. Look how thick that is. So this is what it looks like when you get it. And you peel off, and I have found the best way to peel it off is to get up in here and just scratch until that loosens up. So once you get the little thing started, you'll just pull it away just kind of from one side to the other see this and this keeps them protected in shipping so there's one side but can you see the Florida leaf shape it's probably best but I'm gonna undo it anyway so you can see it but this way you can see the shape really well Now you do have to get this adhesive this off, but once you do, they're really worth it that they get shipped to you like that because you don't want them to be damaged in shipping. Okay, so I've got that off, but look at that. Isn't that amazing? Oh, I can't wait to play with that one. And I want to show you something. You see the ridges in there? Those ridges are not in real life. That is my lights. I wish I could show you. But my lights are um what is this thing called? 
it's an art light and it has little bitty light bulbs and that's why it does those ridges like that but they're not in there it's perfectly smooth so there's one and then this is the other it's the same thing but look at the size much bigger so there's those any new orleans saints out there y'all would love that you saints fans now look at this goodie bag <laughs> we're going to have fun guys these are beautiful now she sent me a sampling of just a whole bunch of them do you see the glitter oh the camera's not doing them justice look at these glittered all glitter and the glitter is embedded so you do not have glitter flaking off everywhere everybody knows i'm not a glitter fan right so there's those and then this one I already have that's the teal one like i have look orange beige this is solid green i didn't have this olive i love this color i was looking for something for taylor i bet she'd like that one and then look more orange which i love because i'm an auburn fan there's some more teal like i've already got so i'm gonna move those aside look <laughs> they're so pretty look at these pink ones all glittery aren't those gorgeous okay and then look at these guys and she has some animal print ones like this these are super cool i think these have a coating on them but these are just amazing i don't even know what all i'm going to do with them look how pretty this looks together maybe i could do a layered one isn't that cool that's all the things i got from punch place plus now listen jamie hooked me up do you see all this stuff we're going to be using these for a long time and just so you know i went to the 99 cent store today and i loaded up on some necklaces so we're going to be playing like crazy with these this week and um and some other stuff thrown in it won't just be these this week we'll be doing a lot of stuff but i just wanted to show you some of the things people had shared with me now if you would like me to showcase some of your products just contact me and we'll talk about it and um, if it's something i feel i can use or that you know my other viewers can use i'll be glad to share it on the channel and let people see it and try it out Anyway, guys, that's another one from me, and I will see you again later in the week. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.